Nebraska announced that they are going to keep Scott Frost. He is 3-7 and seven this year. There will be no bowl. They've only got two games left in the season, but his salary is being cut from $5 million down to $4 million per year, and his buyout is being cut from $15 million down to $7.5 million. You know, there's going to be a lot of extra money for new coordinators or new whatever that needs to be brought in if that is the way that they go. Trev Alberts, the AD at Nebraska, said that basically this is Scott betting on himself. And I think what he meant by that is we had a conversation, and it's not working right now, and if you want to stay on for less risk for us, then we might could go ahead with that. But if you are not willing to make any changes, if you are not willing to do something differently, then we cannot continue this relationship. And Scott said, yes, I will take less money. I will, you know, da 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 I, I don't know what to make of this. It doesn't seem like a smart idea for Scott Frost. However, if he really believes that he can turn this thing around and he wants to be at Nebraska, then by all means. Uh, but if I'm looking at this and and I see $15 million as opposed to $7.5 million, and I'm only making $4 million next season, it, it, it does look, basically what it looks like is $5 million per year down to $4 million. So add $4 million plus $7.5 million if he gets fired after next season, he's going to make $11.5 million as opposed to $15 million. Okay, like... Three and a half million dollars is the difference we're looking at, right? I I don't know what to make of this. I don't know that this is going to work. However, in the past, we have seen, and this is the only example that I can think of, Greg Schiano started out with four losing seasons, or at least four non-winning seasons uh, at Rutgers, and then was able to turn Rutgers into a, a juggernaut in the Big East. I don't know that the Big 12 is cap- or the uh, Big 10 allows you to be capable of the same thing, I don't know where you go with this. If he hasn't been able to do it already, what makes you think a fifth year will be a, a chance, will be anything different? What are, what are your thoughts on this? So this looks exactly like the uh, the Jim Harbaugh deal. Yeah, is, 100%. We're, we're not happy. Jim Harbaugh totally turned his staff over, and uh, Jim Harbaugh's staff went from being the oldest coaching staff in college football to being one of the youngest. And they got excited. They recruited a lot better. And all of a sudden, uh, players started performing. Uh, I, I guess the performance on the field is about the same uh, as it has been, you know. At it's last definitely, year, definitely better than it was not. last season at, at Michigan. But, anyway. that's just, the, but that's yeah. just last year. You can't look at that as the conundrum of what they were. Right, they right. won eight or nine games every year under Harbaugh until last year. That staff that he had last year, wasn't that wasn't the only year they were together. So, True. um you know, I, I think it can work, but it all depends on the hires that he makes. And then the question is, is you made him reduce his salary. You're basically saving the school three and a half million dollars. If you fire him next year, that's fine. The problem is, is if you hire a whole new staff, you're going to pay substantially more than three and a half million dollars to fire all of those people. True, true. So at the end of the day, it might it might just end up being a wash, depending upon who they end up bringing in. Because I, I wonder if that three and a half million dollars is his budget for his staff. That's so that's what I was thinking. He, you know, you're, you, we're not going to allow you to go out and get more than this. Yeah, yeah, I could I could totally see that. I'm I just don't know that this is going to work. I mean, who am I to to judge whether or not a, a guy should be able to keep his job. I mean, they have played, all of their losses have been single-digit losses, and all except for Ohio State were one-possession games. So you change one thing here and there, that's one thing. The issue is, as close as you can get to Ohio State and Michigan, etc., you are also losing to Illinois and Minnesota and Purdue. Like, you should be winning these ball games. I wonder if it's going to look any different with somebody other than Adrian Martinez under center. But who knows? Well, it's I, definitely going to look different. We just don't know how different. Yeah, I don't know if Adrian Martinez is like the guy that is actually keeping them in the games or if he is the guy that is losing the games for them. You can't blame it just on one player. But, you know, there's just mistakes that have been made across the board there that lead you to question the decision-making of the coaching staff. So, well, look, now, hang on. Now, we know, we know the quarterback position is that important. It is. In college football. And we understand 
that Adrian, we have enough tape to know that Adrian Martinez is not the guy that's going to lead you to the promised land. Part of your job as a coach over the last three years is to, A, evaluate him early, develop him. The development hasn't happened, and if you can't develop him, you got to replace him. That hasn't happened. Agreed. Agreed. And, and who knows what you're going to do next year because the guys that you recruited uh, all have transferred out. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if you bring in some some flashy, you know, four or five star kid that, that's going to take the job by the reins in the offseason, then okay. But that's asking a lot, I think. I mean, it's it's a huge gamble. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.